In section 5.2, we're going to be finding the mean and standard deviation from distribution tables. Now, when it comes to finding the mean or standard deviation, sorry, I always feel you can kind of eyeball what the answer is going to be. So, like, let's take this table off to the side, and let's assume that X represents the age that a student is when they start their senior year of high school. So, you know... 10% um, of people are 15 years old when they start their senior year, 15% of people are 16, the bulk of people are 17 when they start their senior year, etc. So when it comes to the average, if I had to find the smallest that the average could be, mathematically the smallest that it could be is 15 because that's the youngest age that we're working with. So I can't have an average starting senior be 14 years old if we don't even have anybody who's 14 years old. So the same goes with the largest that the average could be 18. That if we don't have anybody who's older than 18, then if they were all 18, that would be the oldest we have, but we can't get anything older. Okay, so I know that my average has to be between 15 and 18. Without doing the formula, if I had to eyeball it, I would think my average age is going to be about 17 years old. The reason I say this is since 17 came from 60% of the population, that was the largest percent. So if there were 100 people who were starting senior year, 60% of them are going to be 17 years old. That's going to have a huge influence on our average. When we do the formulas that we're about to learn and mathematically calculate it, it'll turn out that the mean for that problem is actually 16.8. So I was pretty close when I guessed 17. So what is the formula that I need to use? That formula is mu equals sigma times the quantity, I'm sorry, the sum of the quantity x times p of x. So hopefully you remember that that sigma symbol right there means that we're going to be adding. So I'm going to multiply each entry with its probability, add up all those multiplications, and once I add them up, I will have the mean. To find the standard deviation, I have sigma equals the square root of at this time, we're going to take each entry squared, multiply it with its probability, and then add all of those up, and it's the sum of those entries that get subtracted from mu squared. And we'll obviously solve a couple problems. Um, and then in the end, we take a square root. So we're only adding probability times entry squared, and then the mean shows up once although we square it as a subtraction. Now, this formula can also be written another way, and it's really close to the standard deviation formula. But if you've been watching these videos, we didn't actually do the standard deviation by hand. We just did the um, calculator method, so we didn't go too much into the formula. But the other method of getting the standard deviation from a table is sigma equals the summation of x minus mu quantity squared times its probability, um, and I'm just throwing that out there so you can see it, but we're going to be focusing on just the two formulas in the box.